house full of sugar and this mm, delicious smell of cotton candies. That was the place where they used to live. Giant lollipops, coconut biscuits, frosted chocolate cones, sweet vanilla bees flying around us, and my favorite, crystal bubbles with invisible glaze. <laughs> she was telling him that she hated him that was down with a boundless love and a strong kick in his back. They both were always looking for something what exactly they didn't know. Whatever it was, it should make their life sweet. I really loved being there. It's the best place ever. Let me tell you this story from the very beginning. It was late December in Cotton Candy Valley. The snowman and his girlfriend went out for a walk, as I told you before, to search for something that they didn't have any idea about. On their way, they saw a snow baby body. They took care of her, made her looking beautiful with that red nose, red hat, a funny skirt, and those long arms. In that moment, the snowman felt something hot dancing in his chest and thought for the first time in his life that maybe a real baby could make their life sweeter. This idea about embracing his own baby was increasing the level of sugar in his eyes, mouth and pockets. This is me and my friend Alda. Oh yes, those times were tough for us. They called us abandoned. Alda came up with the idea to escape from home for children, and I agreed. We did it that night. And suddenly, those uh? two snowmen met us. We were so hungry and tired that we didn't even mention them. But then the snowmen started showing us some funny tricks and we laughed. They gave us a lot of sweets and invited us to come to their place. There we were happy as never before. They both gave us such a big love and support that we would never forget it. used to tell us, kids, keep this in your mind. Even that day when the sun will come to take us, you will remember our sweet life together and you'll continue sharing treats with others.
Thank you.